This is Kathleen with Car Van Tag and Title Service located at 7000 Bel Air Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Zip code is 21206. Phone number is 410-668-6000. Um, our website is www.carventagtitle.com. Uh, today I'll be talking about motorcycle registration. Motorcycle registration is the same as registering a vehicle. The only difference is when you're registering a regular motorcycle, uh, no, like if you're registering um, a car, you be you could register it with your driver's license or ID or whatever, as long as you be able to get insurance. Uh, but for a motorcycle, you must have a Maryland driver's license. You must have a driver's license. Well, Maryland driver's license. You cannot register a motorcycle with your ID or PDL or whatever. It must be a Maryland driver's license. So you need your driver's license. Then you need the title of the motorcycle. If you have the inspection, fine. If you don't have it, then we do 30 day. And uh, what else? If you purchase from a dealer, we're going to be needing the bill of sale. So let me break it down. Uh, for a 30 day, we're going to need the title. If you finance the motorcycle, we're going to need the uh, contract paper. If you bought brand new, we need the uh, dealer bill of sale, your license and insurance. So when you come to me and you have the title, if it's not properly filled out, I'll make you fill out the back of the title where you put your name as the buyer, you put your address, you put the purchase price. If the title of, because some people come with an out of state license, uh, out of state uh, title. If your out of state title does not have a place for you to put the uh, uh, the price, or if it doesn't have a place, yeah, if it doesn't have a place where you put the price, make sure you get a bill of sale from the seller. Or if you come here, I give you a Maryland uh, a bill of sale, you fill it out. And if it's seven years or newer, we have to notarize it. So make sure when you buy it from, a, from an individual, if it's out of state, make sure they notarize the bill of sale if it's seven years or newer. So when you come and make sure the title is filled out, then I need insurance information and your driver's license for a 30 day. So I run it through the system and I'll generate... I'll generate these two forms. Excuse me. I'll generate from VR005, which is a application for certification of title. This I will generate, meaning you are applying for a new title. So once I put the information in the system, it's going to populate this uh, form. And then all you'll be doing will be signing here, right here. It's a signature of applicant. So you read through it, make sure everything is correct. And if it is, you sign, put your signature here. And then the next form is going to be, uh, what is it, VR0, uh, VR129. This is the inspection waiver. If you're waiving the inspection, you don't have Maryland safety inspection, yes, you'll be signing this form for me. This is a Maryland temporary plate inspection waiver. So it's like you're waving the inspection and the system will generate the date, the expiration date. It's going to be right here. Yeah, it's going to be here. It's going to say temporary, temporary expiration date. It's going to have it here. So you sign, print your name, and then you date. If there's a co-owner, the co-owner will do the same on this side. So you fill out these two forms, and then I give you your motorcycle tag. Motorcycle tag looks like this. Motorcycle tag is like this. It's just a very small tag. You see here? Yeah, just very small. So you get one. It's only one plate to get. So I'll give you your tag, give you your registration card, and I'll give you the inspection, and I'll give you your receipt. So once I, after I must have processed it, then you should be expecting to receive the title in the mail within five to ten business days and also make sure you start the inspection process right away 
so therefore if you have to fix something you have enough time if you don't make it under expiration date and you get pulled over by the police you're on your own so make sure you start the inspection process right away so that you get it you have the you renew you'll be able to renew before the expiration date on your registration card so that's all about uh motorcycle registration so if you if it's a new motorcycle i'm gonna need the title uh i'm gonna need the title if you paid cash, I want the, uh, I want the, um, if you paid cash, I want the uh, bill of sale. I want the bill of sale from the dealer. Or not even, if, even if you financed. Yeah, when you finance, I need the contract paper. And if you paid cash, I need the receipt. You, you got to give me the receipt for a motorcycle if it's seven years or newer. And if it's older than that, I have a customer. Let me end this video. Okay, yeah. Hold on, yes.